Okay, this is a vase. Um, it's a very unique AC app. It's not as widely known um, as some others. It has some really cool features. Um, here's the alert bell. So to gain attention. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Um, you can toggle over to the keyboard quickly. So it's a QWERTY keyboard and you can see word prediction. So um, if you wanted to see. R drink. And then you have uh, drinks. That grammar support right below the sentence bar. Um, and then you have common phrases right here. Thank you. How are you? Please help me. And I'm pretty sure you can probably edit those. Um, the alert bell is there too. Then you just toggle back to pictures. It has some, quick. So all of these quick social things are already in there. Um, but then you have more down at the bottom. Greetings. Like greetings. Manners. Manners. Wish. Response. Explain. Wait. About you. About me. I need help. Go to the home button. Uh, what else? There's topics. topics. So you do have some of that folder-based topics. So it's kind of a hybrid system is the best way I can describe it. Actions. So then you go over to actions. And they have some on the main screen and then some are in folders. Go back to the home screen and then you have I made a mistake. I did, I made a mistake. I wanted to tell you about core words. You have a core words button. So you just go straight to that screen that has core words. Um, I will tell you that I am on 40 pictures per screen. That's the most robust option on a vase that's fully developed. It looks like there's more with smaller buttons, but those aren't really fully featured options yet. They haven't finished really maybe adding buttons there. You might have to add your own. So when I use this, I use it at that small 40, typically. Uh, the other cool thing that it has, has the search, of course. So if I wanted to find the word eat, see how it shakes? Eat. Takes you straight there and you eat. Do your grammar. I like, really like that grammar support. Uh, editing's easy. You just toggle there. Walks you through how to add buttons. You can add categories. Toggle off that. They even have this cool Avaz Live, which I haven't had a need to use yet, but I've heard people using that during distance learning and teletherapy um, remotely. Let's see what else. Um, they have an in-app help section. Um, settings. Oh, I have it set on high contrast right now, so the background's black, which I tend to prefer. Uh, the zoom on select, you can adjust that how fast, or if you want to do, do it or not at all. Um, the grammar supports, you have the option to leave those on or off. I would stick with a QWERTY keyboard personally just because that's what kids are going to be exposed to. Uh, you have your voice options there and they're all included. Anyway, um, it's definitely would be worth uh, maybe reaching out to the app developer and seeing about getting a code if they have any to give you so you can try it there um, to make a potential uh, purchasing request. Or if, if the district you work in has plenty of money and can buy it th themselves, then of course you could do that too. Hope this helps.